Hello, my friend. So you want to upload to YouTube and use other useful features such as chapters from markers and use the new upload thumbnail feature directly from Dimitri Resolve? No problem. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So without further ado, let us indulge my friends hello my friends so here we are in davinci resolve welcome welcome so let's get started how do we upload to youtube the first thing we're actually going to need to do is connect our davinci resolve to our youtube account so the way to do that is navigate to the top left corner you should see something that says davinci resolve click onto that and then go to preferences from preferences please ensure that you're on system and not user so system go all the way down you should see something that says internet accounts from internet accounts, you should see YouTube. It will ask you to sign in to publish directly to YouTube. So press sign in. It's going to open up a web browser and ask you to allow DaVinci Resolve to access your Google account. So that's absolutely fine. Just press this checkbox to manage your YouTube videos. Then press continue. Then you can close the web browser. Amazing. Okay, now that's done, you should see your email address right here under YouTube, which is amazing. And we're already halfway there. Press save and we can move on to the next step. Now, there's actually another useful feature within the deliver page, which I'll get to in a minute, called chapters from markers. This enables you to use certain markers within your video and use them for chapters within YouTube. So how do you create a marker? Well, as you can see, I've got these little little blue markers in DaVinci Resolve and the way to create them is by pressing M on your keyboard. So pressing M on my keyboard creates a marker. And as you can see here, it says marker six, but we don't actually want this. We want to rename this to be the title of the chapter that we're going to be uploading to YouTube. So double click onto the marker and you'll be presented with this menu here. So what we're gonna to need to do is rename the marker name to the name of the chapter. So I'm gonna call this introduction. Also ensure that the color for all of your markers are the same, because this is important. In a deliver page, it will ask you what color marker would you like to use as a base for the chapters for YouTube. So for me, I'm just gonna leave it on the default blue and I'm gonna change the name to introduction and press done. Then I'm gonna go through my video and then press M and create markers, double click on the marker and put the title of all of the chapters that I'd want depending on the location for my YouTube video. So I'm going to go through all of that now and move on to the next step. Also, it is possible to move the markers around if you wanted to. You can right click to remove the marker or you can press delete key to move the marker. Okay, so the markers all complete. What's the next step? Well, we need to navigate from the edit page to the deliver page. So go down to the bottom here and it should see edit. Go down from edit to deliver. Now we're presented with this deliver page. Welcome. If you haven't been here before. I'm sure you may have been, but we're going to go to where it says render settings at the top left corner here, and you should see this scroll wheel. So we're just going to scroll all the way to the right and there'll be a YouTube preset. Now this YouTube preset has been updated from prior version of DaVinci Resolve. They've kind of optimized this for better quality and better performance. So we're going to click onto the YouTube preset. There's also a drop down menu on the right hand side here. This is just for the resolution of the presets that you want. So if you've got everything from 720, 1080, 1440, and even 4K. I'm going to leave it on 1080p for now. Here we have file name and file location. So this file name, is not actually the title of the YouTube video, it's actually the file name of the video that you're going to be saving onto your desktop. Okay, so I've put the name of the file of the video. I'm going to go to browse and save it in the location on my computer as I've done here. Okay, the next thing you'll see here is also the resolution presets for the saved file. So Again, we have everything here. I'm just going to leave this at 1080p because as you select these presets at the top, it will automatically change these resolution presets for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave all of these settings as it is. And then I'm going to scroll down and we have this important check mark here. So by default, this is going to be off. And we just need to tick it on and it is upload directly to YouTube. Now here is where you can put the title of the YouTube video that you want. So I'm going to copy the file name, YouTube video title and I'm going to press paste. And here we can put description of anything that we want for our YouTube video. And then we have two of the most useful features so far. We have chapters from markers and upload the thumbnail. So we're going to go to upload thumbnail first. All you need to do is enable this check mark. Then if you've already created a thumbnail, press these three dots and navigate to wherever the thumbnail image has been saved. Amazing. Next we have chapters from markers. So once we enable this, you can see here, it asks you which colored marker would you like to use for the chapters. So remember earlier I said it's important, please make sure all of the colors of your markers are the same. Here is where you'd go to select this. So if you selected blue, cyan, green, yellow, red, pink, purple, etc. So I'm going to enable blue. Blue is the default. Perfect. Then, <laughs> thank goodness, we have add to render queue. So once we add this to render queue, it's not done. We need to navigate to the right hand side here where it says render all. And this will begin rendering the video. Now, what's important about this, I'm going to render now. What's actually important about this is it will go through two passes of the render. 
So it would go through here where it says job one. You'll see the percentage will go from zero and eventually will go to 100. Then it's going to go and start again from zero to 100. The first pass here is actually saving the YouTube video onto the file location that you've put here. This is important. The second pass of this, once it goes through after this, is going to upload directly to YouTube for us. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Please be patient, but it's going to go through everything. And uh, yeah, you should be fine. So I'm going to pause the video. And once it's uploaded to YouTube, I'm going to show you my YouTube. And we're going to go from there. Okay, my friends. So here we are in YouTube. And uh, it looks like everything's done successfully. You can see that my description is updated. This is amazing with a smiley face. With the title that we put there. And the chapters have automatically been created from the marker. So if we click onto the video link, you can see right here we have our chapters. So we can click on a chapter. Now, all of our chapters are in place, which is amazing. So this is how you upload a video start to finish from DaVinci Resolve to YouTube. So if you found this video useful, please just subscribe, comment, like, and uh, yeah. I will see you in the next one. Peace.